Okay, let's talk about the new DJI Mavic drones. If this is your first time to the channel and you enjoy photography, drones, technology, and other related stuff, then start off by hitting that subscribe button. When you do, tap the little bell icon next to it, that way you won't miss anything. So here's the deal, DJI announced two brand new drones today and pretty much every channel on YouTube that has anything to do with drones and tech are posting uh, videos about the drone. So that's kind of what's expected of me. And if I don't, I'm gonna have some questions and you guys contacted me asking me what are my thoughts. So here's my thoughts on the two new drones. There will be a link uh, in the description below this video of an excellent video by Tom's Tech Time. Uh, it's about 27 minutes, I believe, but it's an excellent video to watch. If you really wanna see the comparison between these two new drones, um, I highly recommend you go watch that video. Um, he has hands-on, uh, both of those. Uh, I, I don't have a drone. I'm not one of these big guys that DJI sends out drones to. So go and check out his channel for sure. Uh, but yeah, I'll give you kind of my thoughts on them. My first thought is I can't afford a new drone right now. You see, I have the Mavic Pro, the original version, and it, it does very well for me and what I need it for. I'm not able to purchase one of the Mavic 2 Zooms or the Mavic 2 Pro right now. If I was going to purchase one, I would probably spend the extra amount and get the Pro simply because it has a much better camera, a much better dynamic range. For a photography standpoint, the, the quality of the photos are better. So uh, yeah, the Hasselblad camera in the DJI drone really makes a difference. And if I was going to purchase one, I think that's the one that I would go with. Both of the drones are a step above the original Mavic Pro. Uh, both of them have added sensors and added stability. Um, the OcuSync 2, so the, the connection between the drone and the controller should be better. Um, overall, it's, it's definitely an upgrade for either one. Uh, the zoom gives you that, uh, I believe it's 24 to 48 millimeter zoom, so that is a plus on that. A lot of people really like that. Um, I, I really wish they could have combined the Hasselblad camera and some of the features with the Pro with that zoom, but uh, you can't always get everything that you want. Currently on DJI's website, uh, the Mavic 2 Pro is $1449 and the Mavic 2 Zoom is $1249. So there's only a couple hundred dollars difference there. Uh, to me, I, I would go with the Pro um, with that Hasselblad camera and that that's pretty much my thoughts on both of these they are an upgrade but uh, I, I can't justify spending that I can't even afford one right now but um, yeah I really can't justify myself upgrading if I get the chance to in the future I would definitely sell my Mavic Pro and um, upgrade to the uh, Mavic 2 Pro I, I really like it so yeah that's my thoughts on the new drones from DJI. I would highly recommend you check out a link. I'll leave a couple videos that I've seen down in the description below this video that I think you would enjoy. Uh, so yeah, let me know in the comments. Are you planning to purchase one of these new drones? Uh, what's your thoughts on the new drones? Um, are you excited about it? Are you kind of let down in what DJI has offered here for their new stuff? I'd like to hear that in the comments below. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And until next time, God bless.